Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we have a Fronius IG inverter and you see on the screen it's scrolling between startup and state 305. Now, if it's showing start, uh, state 305 on the screen, according to Fronius, that means that the feed-in process is not possible even though public mains parameters are within the limits. And what that's telling us in English is that the inverter is not able to send power to the grid even though the grid parameters are within within its limits and what it's telling us there pretty much is it's detected a fault an internal fault and it can't work properly so if your inverter is doing something like this I'd always recommend to try and uh, reboot the system because that can at times uh, just just rectify the issue and it's always important if you've got a solar power system to make sure you follow the shutdown procedure and uh, we've got the shutdown procedure here. We turn off the solar supply main switch, or which is located in your switchboard, or the inverter AC isolator. So here we've got the inverter AC isolator right here, so we just throw that off. And then we turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. So we've got that one on the other side here, so we'll just turn that one off. And we'll let the, uh, the system shut down completely. So you see it's gone blank there. And then we'll try rebooting the system and see if we continue to get that error. With the uh, reboot of the system, it doesn't matter what order you uh, turn things back on. So it can be the, either the AC or the DC first. There's the AC, and here's the DC back on, and they'll take a couple of minutes to try and uh, restart. Now, if you uh, if you do try and reboot the system and it's still coming up with that state 305 error, and your solar inverter was installed within the last five years, and it should be under warranty still. And uh, you, so you should be able to make a warranty claim with Fronius. Fronius are very good with their warranty uh, claims. But there was a couple of bits of information you'll need to do that, and that's the uh, serial number of the inverter and the uh, date of installation. And if we have a look underneath the inverter here, we should be able to find the serial number. So we got, if we have a look here, sorry, don't, don't worry about this stuff. I've just got uh, this for, out for testing. Yours will all be covered up here. But we got the uh, serial number of the inverter here. And, uh, and over here it tells us this is a Fronius IG30 inverter. So that's the, uh, the model of the inverter. So we just have a look and see how this one's going. Now if the inverter is over five years old and, and it's still consistently having this state 305 error, well, Unfortunately, you're going to need help with your system. Um, you can certainly talk to someone like Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions if you're close to the Gold Coast or Brisbane area, and we'd be happy to help you with that. You can, you can get them repaired out of warranty, uh, but it is quite expensive. A lot of time, if an inverter fails and it's outside of the warranty terms, uh, warranty period, then you might be best to just bite the bullet and, and get a brand new inverter with a full warranty. So you see that's trying to reboot and it's still come, it's still scrolling between the startup and state 305 error. So this one's definitely got an internal fault, which uh, we'll be looking at and uh, rectifying for our customer. So look, if you've got a state 305 error and you're near the Gold Coast or Brisbane area, don't hesitate to give Gold Coast Solar a call and uh, we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful.